Hi! In this video, you're gonna learn about the internal nodes, the start, the enter, and the exit nodes. Let's get started. Every graph, when you create one, has a start node. This is the first node that uh, is visible. So let's create a graph. This is the first node that gets activated by the graph controller. And usually it has to be connected to a node in order to another node in order for it to be valid. So as you can see, if it's not connected, it's red. When I connect it, it's green. And that's it. This is, you cannot delete it and you should not delete it. And this is the only functionality of this particular node. It's equivalent in the subgraph node. So it's still a graph, but it's set as, as a subgraph. So let's convert this to a subgraph. You have the enter node and the exit node. And here, this is uh, the interesting uh, part because the enter node and the exit node are only for subgraphs. A graph, let's convert this to a graph again, has only a start node. Unlike a subgraph that has an enter and an exit node and is meant to be nested inside another graph. And usually when you, you create this, you use it with a subgraph node that has a subgraph referenced. So you cannot even create a subgraph in a subgraph and so on. And uh, yeah, that's it. These are the start, enter and exit nodes. Thank you.